Hello everyone, this is Paul from Hi-Fi Man. Some friends says that GPS signal is not good in the Android screen. It need to wait very long time to have the GPS signals. So in this video, I will show you how to handle these problems. In our Android screen, you can go to the apps menu. Here is GPS test that can view the GPS signals. Click it. Here, you can see, when you have GPS signals, these are very strong signals. My car, I installed the GPS antenna in the IP load here. So, in the past five years, I never have these problems. If you find there's no signals or very weak signals in here, you need to relocate the GPS antenna. This is the first thing. I will talking about how to location the GPS antenna. Here is the GPS antenna we offer. You should install this GPS antenna for the Android screen. We don't recommend to use the GPS splitter. Some friends said his car have the OEM navigation. So his car already have the OEM antenna. He asked if that is possible to use the splitter for the antenna. We don't recommend this because you cannot confirm the voltage output for the GPS antenna. In our Android screen, the GPS antenna is 3.3 voltage, uh, this part. But some OEM car ties, the GPS output is 5 voltage or higher uh, voltage. In that case, it will burn down the GPS chips inside. After that, you will lose the GPS functions for the unit. So we don't recommend the GPS splitter for our model. And if you found there's no GPS signal or the signal is very weak, you should make a test. But please notice, you should park the car in the, on the ground. If you test the GPS signal under the garage, it will know GPS signals. And if you test in the car and find there's no GPS signals, how to do it? You should location the GPS antenna again. Normally, the GPS antenna can, uh, can put in this place or this place or that place uh, on the back of the window. Or some friends install on the back of the uh, mirror. That's okay. Some friends run the cable, go from here and go to this and put, put here. That's okay. But you also need to test the GPS signal. If you find when you put the GPS antenna inside the car, in no GPS signals, you should put the GPS antenna outside of the window to have a test. Uh, for example, uh, I open the car. You just put it outside of the window here, like this. Uh, like this. And then to view the GPS signal uh, in the monitor. If it have the GPS signal, that means your car glass uh, block the signals. So in that case, you should install the antenna in the IP load. My car, when I install the GPS antenna, the installer tell me say uh, the BMW, the glass block the signal. So he run the cable here go to this and in, install the antenna in the IP low. IP low are uh, not block the not block the signal. So my enter screen always have very strong uh, signal. Uh, as I know uh, some cars like BMW 7 series F01 uh, this kind of car type the glass uh, can block the signals. Here is the 4G LTE antenna. 
please notice, when you install this antenna, you need to keep a distance to the GPS antenna. Here, for example, my original GPS antenna go from this and install to the IP load here. So, when I install this 4G antenna, I need to keep a distance to it. I run the cable on the back and then I can install the antenna in the in this side here yeah, near to the glass box here yeah, in this place that way the GPS antenna and 4G antenna keep a distance then will be okay please notice this antenna don't stick to the metal pass here yeah, don't stick to the metal pass here yeah. And I don't recommend to stick on the back of the display. Some friends uh, just install like this, uh, connect this and stick to the body of the display. I don't recommend it. Uh, that's not a good way to install this antenna. Here you can see, I attached the antenna on the back. It flashed the screen here. It almost cannot use. That's very clear. The antenna will affect the the screen here. Now I remove it. This here. See? That's very very clear. That's good now. And I put it again to see. See? Press the screen, right? 